Alright, we're in the Ark of Menard's car. They'll put down the qualifying lap at Talladega for week seven. Well, this is the best lap I ran. Mind you, this is just in the practice, not in the actual open practice session with other drivers. Just loaded the stock set up in there and uh, initially drove around and tried to uh, see how fast I could run up against the wall. A lot of times in the middle lane, a lot of times in the bottom lane. Instead of running the bottom lane, trying to figure out how, what the fastest way around the track was. And then going one better and increasing the steering ratio to 16 to 1, the highest it can go. So we're going to run mostly up high for the uh, get up to speed and then the first actual practice lap, first actual qualifying lap that's counting. Just continue to run that high line. Be as easy at the throttle as you possibly can. Stay up high, take the longest way around the track, get up to speed as much as we possibly can. Now we're going to start kind of getting down low, trying to get into the swing of making this, uh, making this lap. And we're not going to want to come up any further than right about here. Start arcing at that blue sign slightly. Going down here, apexing at that sign. A little, a little mark on the wall here. Right here, we want to get our tires just about on that yellow line as we get to the that line on the wall there, and then start drifting back up to the center lane. And just kind of ride that center lane until we get to the Sonoka sign, start diving it back in slowly, and down to the bottom, and holding that there until we come up to the Sonoka sign. As we're coming around here, and then we'll start letting off and drift ourselves up here to about where that pole is on our dotted line. Just kind of hold that there down the straightaway. And as we start getting, I believe it was just after the uh, this fence, one of these things here, but it's right there. We start turning in just a little bit, right there, a little bit, a little bit. And getting down here as close to the line and the bottom line as we can. About that snooker sign once again. We start bringing the wheel back out. Again, no further up than that. About the sign, start slowly bringing it down so that the apex of the corner will left sides on that line as we hit that mark. And right back to the center. That was the best lap I ran, which was. Uh, lap 42 and that that right there was a 53.012 I'm not entirely sure what that's going to do holding up um, once we get into some actual race sessions and see what the qualifying by themselves lap time will be but that is uh, what we did again uh, just running basically qualifying attempts um, I don't know if the track conditions are the same. Um, I just let the conditions be whatever the default was. I didn't bother to try to change it. I don't know what the conditions are going to be in the time of day for the race until, until the race is made available. Um, this is still Monday before um, this track has become available to uh, uh, to start uh, racing in those races. So, um, But after that initial attempt... Um, I believe at this one here, I was as good as I could get. Maybe this one over here. We started playing with the steering ratio and uh, bringing that to a the highest we can go, which is 16 to 1. Basically, it's the smoothest you can do with your steering wheel to try to make it through those corners. And then... Uh, just running it in different practice attempts. Kept it fairly close. I was trying some different things, trying to figure out where I could slide out to, but that there was the absolute and utter best that I was able to get away with. So.
I think this is whatever the settings are that uh, I had set when I went inside here. So we'll see if this holds up uh, when we get a chance to race around some other cars, and uh, hopefully that uh, will give you an idea on uh, how to make yourself a little bit faster uh, here at uh, Talladega in the Arca car.